guys, we are back with the movie Superstar Edition, and you must be thinking, why is Natalie Portman there? Because in this episode, we're going to do the Star Maker again. More actual movie Superstar will be coming soon. But right now, we are going to do the Star Maker, and we're going to make Natalie Portman, who is a very good actress. So, here we go. Right, so what I was thinking, because she has a very bony face, it's with her Botox injections, we're going to find someone with a bony face, or someone that remotely looks like her, and then build upon that. So, let us find, uh, yeah, and then we could mix it up with maybe someone with a really bony face, like her, and then more, more blend there. Yeah, yeah, that looks like Natalie Portman. Yeah, that's Natalie Portman. And as you can see here, she has brownish eyes. So I think the eyes that we're on right now is fine. So, next is their hairstyle. I was thinking just this hairstyle. I think it's the one that matches the one over here. And that's a bit too bright. That's too orange. That's too brown. That's too black. So this would be perfect. And this is too blonde. So this would be a perfect hair colour for Natalie Portman. Uh, her eyes, they're mildly bushy, but I think we're just going to stick with normal eyebrows for now and just go with... Actually, those sort of fit her and their normal eyebrows. And if we just put a mild amount of eye makeup... Yeah, that's fine. I don't think there's actually... And yeah, she has lots of facial hair, as you can see here, lots of, you know, she needs to go out to the barber, but no, I'm joking. And, um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just put a bit of lipstick, make it look good. Okay, so this. Um, she's pretty thin, but I don't really care about the trimness. Her looks are alright, I guess, she's not too good looking. I, I don't really know about this, so I'm going to stick on an equal basis. Very good in her action. She's, I guess, all right in a comedy. She, I've never seen in a horror movie. Romance is fine. Sci-fi is okay. I don't really know about this, so I'm just going to put this. And then good for these points, I guess. And if there's, yeah, we have enough attribute points. So I'm going to do more for action. And a bit more for romance. And maybe a tad more for sci-fi. Yes. Short, we had to graduate. Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj and Jazzy J. Yeah. All right. Advanced stuff. Probably going to skip this. So, yeah. Okay, that is Natalie Portman. Yeah. Um, we might actually do a little bit of remodeling, just talk you through what I did. Maybe go back and edit some stuff. So, as you can tell, she has quite a bony face because of all those injections, if you know what I mean. So I really tried to capture that aspect of her being having a bony face and her having, a, like, like, quite a, like a a weird face structure which isn't something you see very often um, so what I did now, this is like the first draft I'm gonna go back and edit it after I explain what I've done so far um, for the eyes there wasn't much really there wasn't much option to be honest and I don't really think she has that much um, wide eyes or tiny eyes so I left, I sort of left the eyes as it is, as it is. Uh, made her eyes a bit less wonky and made it a bit more natally. For the lips, she has very thin lips, as you can see here. Um, so I really tried to cap capture that aspect of her having thin lips, 
but there's not really an option for that, or there's not really much to, they should improve on the lips actually. Um, they should give us a little update because this was the thinnest I could get it to, which isn't really what I wanted, but it will have to do. For the bone structure, I, I did a lot of work. She was originally quite, you know, plumpy, didn't really look like she had much Botox, so I had to sort of make sure that the ridges and, and the edges were there. And I think I captured that quite well. For the cheeks, I did the same thing. Made it look less plumpy, more alien, less human. <laughs> and that's what I did. For the ears, um, I didn't really do much for the ears because in this picture you can't see her ears. So I left that as it was, sort of. I did a couple of adjustments here and there because I didn't really want her looking like Dumbo. And the forehead, I made it big, because as you can see, she's, she's got quite a big forehead. So I made the forehead quite big, but you can't really see it because of the hair there. But that is fine. Uh, eyebrows, you can tell right here, her eyebrows are actually quite close to her e um, ears, eyes. <laughs> and um, they're pretty straight, they're not really curly, so I tried to give that aspect into reality when creating Natalie Portman and for I think this is the head yeah this is the head I didn't really touch on that very much I did a bit but I didn't really touch on that because I don't think to be honest there was any need because I think her head looks fine don't you don't you I said don't you yeah she looks fine um so I'm gonna go back and edit this and you guys can watch me do it in fast forward motion yay three two one Fast forward. Okay. So we have officially finished the editing of Natalie Portman. So this is Natalie Portman. I, I think it's quite good. Maybe I could have done a bit more with the lips, but I think it's the best we could do at the moment. So, hope you guys enjoyed. So, I'm going to save, just in case we want to use Natalie Portman again. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Mumi Super Dark Edition Star Maker. And I'll see you next time, where we will hopefully carry on with the Saramon So Pictures Studio thing. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.